Okay. It says going live. It says you are live. Are we live right now? It says we're live. I know it's been a while. I know I told everybody that I was going to do this earlier in the day, but then the Nintendo Direct news came out, so I had to delay it. But I think we are live now. Yep, things are looking good. What is going on, everybody? Rogers Base here, and welcome to my live reaction to every single animated trailer for Honkai Impact 3rd. This has been one of the most requested videos that I've seen in my comment section over the course of the past couple weeks. Everybody has been wanting me to watch Honkai Impact trailers. I think probably for a multitude of reasons, obviously. One, I'm completely caught up to Honkai Star Rail now. People are telling me that some of the Star Rail characters originated or have alternate versions in Honkai Impact 3rd. Also, obviously, I'm completely caught up to Genshin Impact right now as well. I actually just finished the last interlude that I needed to finish, so now I am officially all caught up, so when they do that next interlude, I'll be ready to go. I'm caught up to both games. That's unbelievable. I never thought I'd be in a world in which I was caught up to both of the major Hoyoverse games that I play, and yet I am completely caught up. But here's the thing, and I've mentioned this on numerous occasions on other videos and other streams, okay? I really love what I've seen of Honkai Impact 3rd, but I already know myself, and I know the kind of games that I play, and I am pretty certain going into this that I will most likely never play Honkai Impact 3rd. However, there's apparently some really cool animations and great music and awesome looking characters, and so I figured this would be a great opportunity for me to sort of sit down, be introduced to that world, and actually get a chance to immerse myself in it without actually playing the game myself. Because I've mentioned this on numerous other streams, I talked about this on my Genshin Impact streams, I mentioned this on some of my action game streams for Nintendo as well, I get really motion sick playing fast action type games. So things like Bayonetta, things like Devil May Cry, while they're cool franchises, I literally physically cannot play them. Which is very bizarre considering the fact that there are certain action franchises that I can play. Things like Spider-Man, like the PlayStation Spider-Man games, totally fine playing those. Batman Arkham Asylum, totally fine playing that. God of War, all the God of Wars, totally fine. There's just a weird thing with Bayonetta and Devil May Cry and again what little I've seen of Honkai Impact. Now, I know if I'm watching trailers that have gameplay in there, I'm totally going to be fine. I'll be totally fine watching that. But if I was physically playing it myself, I think it would be an issue. So, with all that being said, I want to give one last shout out before we begin to Hexum H3XAM, who put together this playlist of all of the Honkai Impact 3rd animations for me. This person also put together a playlist of all the character PVs. If this video does well, then maybe I'll end up doing one for all the character PVs too. But based on what little things I've seen of both, I do feel like the animations are probably going to end up being more my style. And then if I end up really falling in love with some of the characters or something, maybe I'll go back and watch the character PVs. But... If you want me to do that, make sure you support this video. Leave likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe. If I see a lot of traction from this, I might end up doing that in the future. Otherwise, never ask for me. Uh, never ask me for anything ever again. Okay. <laughs> I'm already stumbling over my words because I've been recording Nintendo Direct prediction videos. It's been busy all day. No more delay. I really do want to get into this. We're starting with the very first trailer. We're going to go in order from five years ago. I cannot believe this series is that old. Started in April 24th, 2018. Honkai Impact 3rd Animation Reburn. I'm going to turn on the audio. You guys let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet or whatever, and I'll adjust. This is just the first trailer. I've also been told, just to let you guys know in the chat who are going to be telling me things, I've also been told that these initial trailers do not have closed captions on them and don't have translations. I guess it was like before the game was coming over to America or something. So, these first couple, I guess we're just watching for the visuals. Also, I don't know why it started me off midway through, so let's get started right at the very beginning with Honkai Impact 3rd Animation number one, Reburn. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, and go. All right, let's see this. Mihoyo, Mihoyo Anime, and Dancing CG Studio. Okay. Right away, I'm already surprised, because I thought Honkai was not in the real world. I thought it was something along the lines of Star Rail. This is already very different from what I was expecting. 
I must follow through with this. Come back, Kiana. Don't be stubborn. Oh, so they did it. And they have it. Uh... Pocky? Like, this is already giving me more vibes of, like, Zenless Zone Don't Zero run. that's coming out than of Star Rail. I figured Honkai. Okay. Okay, we got some giant mechs. <laughs> Bro. The fan service right in the very beginning. Good lord. It's kind of cool. Picking up the zero gravity cola. Dropping it back down. So her whole thing is she can stop time then too. We were literally just talking about Bayonetta. And you guys are saying it takes place on Earth. Okay. So it's not even like alternate universe Earth, it's meant to be Earth with sci-fi elements. I love the mech design. I think the mech design looks really, really cool. Yo, hold on. A little bit of booba going on now. What the heck? Bro, the fan service is off the chain, man. What are they doing here? Oh my god. Also, not to pause, I'm not gonna pause the trailer. And that does look really cool. Isn't there a sequence exactly like this in the reveal trailer for Kingdom Hearts 4 where Sora's going through like a train and he's fighting a giant heartless like this? looks a lot like the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Was this before or after that reveal trailer? I think this was about a year before. So did Kingdom Hearts 4 steal from Honkai Impact? The music really is great though. I'm digging it. Cool. Also heavy Evangelion vibes with the uh, with the mecha. I don't know what that says. Just making out with the mech in German? Okay. Honkai Impact Third. Alright, so we just jumped right into it. There you go. Okay, that was Reburn. What is next? We have Will of the Hersher? Yo! Raiden! Wait, 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 wait. Like. Is that meant to be, like, this game's version of Raiden Shogun? Also, she looks different. Also, what happened to her? Will of the Hersher. I think that is meant to be Raiden. Also, she's giving me vibes of, like, the girl at the beginning of Genshin. The one that I always joke is Paimon's mom. Oh, closed captions are finally starting. Fantastic. All right, great. So now I'm actually going to know what's going on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so that is obviously meant to be right in there. With the hair and everything. Okay. Bro, some of this fan service is it's kinda nuts. I'm used to Genshin fan service and Honkai fan service. This seems like another level above. I'm glad they kinda toned it down a little bit for future games. It's still there, for sure. But you're not getting, like, panty shots every five seconds, which I think is good. You even got the Genshin cubes and everything, too? Yeah, man, the mech designs are really clean. An anti-entropy. This is interesting, because again, I know this predates Genshin. And the cubes, ooh, 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 wait a minute, let me shut up for a second. Ooh, okay. But this is weird, I wonder if this is gonna have a connection to Genshin eventually, because she does remind me of that first girl 
and the cube animation and everything. I always thought it was weird too, because it's Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. So I do wonder if it's like everything kind of started from this. And that maybe this will tell me characters that will eventually come up in both of those other games. Your existence is a mistake, humans. War, cheating, jealousy, and grief. Look, I don't disagree with her. <laughs> I don't. By the way, Roger, this video has 60 million views on YouTube. Good lord. 60 million? I am the Honkai. The Honkai's a title, then. Again, I do, I do really love the robot design. I'm not a huge mecha person. I love Evangelion. I love Big O. I like Zoids growing up, too. But the mechs are cool. They've got, like, almost a half-organic look to them. Weird, she also has, like, Paimon's eyes. Devastation. I am actually very interested in the story of this, just based on the little bit that I've seen. Yeah, I love, too, the dragons and everything. The dragon almost reminds me a little bit of the one at the beginning of Genshin Impact. The Venti's friend. What's that thing's name? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I do love her design, though. Man, oh man, oh man. Ooh, ooh, scary! All right. Song Befall. So Befall is the name of that song then. All right. Final Lesson is the next trailer. Also, um, One More Weeb says, if you truly do want lore, I may recommend videos from Homu Labs. He's very good at explaining the lore. Um... Also, this was doing the snap before Thanos made it mainstream. Well, um, that would have been around this time, right? I think it would have been around this time. Also, Roger, speaking of stuff, when are you going to be doing the concert reactions? How about let's get through one reaction compilation first before requesting other reactions, please and thank you. All right. Honkai Impact 3rd Animation Final Lesson. This one's seven minutes long and has how many views? 8.3 million. So the other one had 60 million. This one is eight. Interesting. Let's go. I mean, seven minutes is pretty lengthy for a trailer. Now, is that redhead meant to be this game's Himako? Because I don't like her as much as I like Star Rail's version. Already. I don't like the little... I don't like the little bangs that go like that. I'm not a fan. So Venti's Dragon Buddies coming in and saving the day. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Well, I'll let it run. I'll let it run. I'm going to give her her due. I'm going to give this pyro ripoff her due. Let's see. Bro, she's so pyro-coded, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> the Aegis sword and everything and the tights. <laughs> The outfit is very cool, though, to be fair. I just don't really like her hair. <laughs> Bro, she even has... That's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ha I'm sorry. I have to pause. 
I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. Let's go to this real quick. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut through this one, but I, I just, I have to comment on this. Because this is absurd. As somebody who is a huge Xenoblade fan. This right here, okay. Open up new tab. I'm sorry. I have to do this. I'm sorry. Is it right here? Here. Now just... Bro. I mean, that's like... That's kind of, you have you have to admit, please. That's a little crazy. This was before? No, it wasn't. Xenoblade was 2017. Xenoblade 2 was 2017. This was not before Pyra existed. You guys can't lie to me. All right? Don't turn this into a solo leveling situation. Just acknowledge it's a little sus. All right, let's continue. It's uh, it's slightly sus. I do love her though. I like the other girl. Also, the little thing on her boob, the little booty mark on her boob. I, the main girl's design I love. Which is surprising, she's my favorite so far. The Honkai, I like her. And I like the little drill ribbons too. Pathetic. <laughs> Thrown it through like a black hole in her back? Okay. Interesting. So Himiko's not messing around then. She's gonna have a double fruit awakening? It's my turn now. I hope you don't mind, girl. Okay. She, she looks cooler like this! Oh, man. Kiana. Okay. So Kiana is on top. No longer be a pretty place. Bro! Whoa! Don't ever, ever give up. That was a great shot there, too. You pathetic human. Okay. So she's also meant to be a human. Oh! Getting a bunch of paper cuts? <laughs> Maybe that is why I like her, because she does remind me a lot of Pyra. Okay, we got some Gurren Lagan drills get thrown in there, too. Cool. Shosa. Major. I'm assuming that was meant to be Raiden? The one with the bangs? I'm going to be the bestest Valkyrie ever. Anti Kimiko. Anti. Whoa! Flaring out? Okay. The song is fire! Kiana, be brave, but she's trying to break her out of it. Then. You can end the story the way you want. So this has been like years later with Kiana. Live Kiana. Uh oh. Did Himako die? She overheated or something? My final lesson for you. Bro, no! I mean, this is really awesome. Though. 
Oh, dude, this Never Let You Go song is amazing. Wait, but is she actually dead is the question. They introduced Himiko just to kill her? You got credits? Himiko Murata. So then I'm assuming the design of this anti version of Himiko might just be our tease for what Murata is going to look like in Genshin Impact later this year. Because obviously Natlan is the next mission coming up, the next like major update. It's supposed to be the land of war. You have this obviously iconic trailer from Honkai Impact 3rd called Final Lesson, where Himiko teaches the final lesson to Kiana, who is the Honkai, who also somehow, some way reminds me of... The celestial being in the beginning of Genshin that also kind of reminds me of Paimon a little bit. So this, she's going to be the Pyro Archon then, for sure. I do hope and pray she does not have the same hair though. I know it's such a minor gripe, but I, I don't like the hair. I like everything else about this version of Himiko except the hair. The Himiko in Star Rail, I'm just going to be honest, far superior. I don't know anything about the story. I'm sure people are going to roast me for it, and that's fine. But you can't change my opinion. The Himiko version in Star Rail, I like better. It is what it is. Roger's going to kick the hornet's nest by criticizing Himiko? Bro, it's viewership one way or the other. I don't particularly care. I do like this version of Himiko, though. It's just the hair. But her character, I got no problems with. This is great so far. All right. Let's do the next one. This next one is introducing the Honkai-verse. Um, Honkai Operation Center. All right, six minutes and 23 seconds. Honkai Operation Center, Chapter One. Captain so I'm assuming this is a little bit of Greetings, lore. Greetings, Captains. Welcome to the Honkai Operation Center. Hello. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? I have. Oh, what are oh, they oh, fighting wait. for? Wait, okay, wait. She looks cuter here. She looks significantly cuter here. I don't, this is obviously Himiko. She's got the same booba little thing. And the hair, she's cuter. She's significant. I take back what I said. Her in-game model is just better than how she looked in the anime. Way better. I take it back. Okay, let's continue. And what exactly does Honkai mean? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this Yaimiko? Is this supposed to be Yaimiko? We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout the series. We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Today is a basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. I do like the Honkai verse is based on a parallel universe that reiterates this conflict: okay. humanity's struggle against the Honkai. Okay. But what is the Honkai? That's my question. We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. It wants to destroy human civilization, and when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Okay. Honkai have tried to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters, and plagues, and giving so birth they're to behind hunters. everything. So the Go Honkai are behind COVID and Godzilla. <laughs> what? And then the other wait. This is weird. I have to keep watching. This is an interesting concept, though. Like beings who can bend physical laws. In the Honkaiverse, humanity has already established a high-tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. Okay. Modern humans refer to this civilization as the previous era. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. Okay, the previous era was destroyed, so like but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. Like lots of technology. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy again. humanity, so they didn't leave us in peace even in the current era. 2717 BC was the date of the earliest record of the Honkai Beast so attacks. So 2,700 years ago before warriors, Jesus, such as this Ji girl was running helped around? us defeat these early Honkai monsters. But Ji Xuanyan disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai Beast Chiyo. Okay. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the Roman Empire. Okay, yeah, so the history is the same. We still Shiksal have the was fall led of the by Roman an overseer. Empire usually a member of the Apocalypse okay. family who this established cool, Shiksal. Actually. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. 
They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. The feudal armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. So they're meant to be to like the dragons power, from back Shiksa in the day. Shiksa also the recruited Ages? and trained its own military. Oh, I like Victoria. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksa fighting force. And a legendary Valkyrie is Kallan of House Kaslana. Who also looks like Kiana, who the also Kaslanas looks like The are a family of knights like known for their the prowess in fighting Genshin. the Honkai. The Kaslanas. Kallan's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, Art's an artifact from like the previous the era right that there. was very effective against Shout the Honkai. Out to Turtle However, many things happened in the year oh, 1470. Shoot. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused the Great Plague and killed millions throughout Europe. What? But Sheiksal did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. This is so the weird war ended how with they're Shiksal's looping this in with actual history. I to kind of love losses, it though. To increased taxes and took money from the poor. These bad decisions only made Sheiksal even less popular. When Sheiksal tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. So, Auto Apocalypse. if I'm understanding this correctly, the Sheiksal is essentially meant to be like the Illuminati, right? They're behind some bad stuff, and they're taxing the people. That's what I'm taking from this. They're kind of like the Illuminati a little bit. By the way, uh, Neva says, Otto is one of the best video, uh, video game villains ever. I'm just going to say it. Okay. Interesting. But there's also hints of the Amazon within them? Interesting. And they're a stand-in for the Catholic Church? They basically just said, look, we're going to take all these organizations from history. We're going to loop them all together. Okay. The younger son of Sheiksal's ruling dynasty of House Apocalypse managed to develop a cure in 1475. Okay. Although he was not the heir to the seat of overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new overseer. Since then, human the technology villain. continued to grow. Everyone thought Honkai was gone. But the first Honkai okay. eruption took place They're in 1952 over Jesus. That's crazy, and destroyed bro. the entirety of Berlin. They said, Don't the worry eruption about that. gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. So this she explains saw, the Hersher which has become a rather before. secretive organization by now, quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Sheiksal so scientists failed on. to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Sheiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. It was there that the first Herscher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. What? Time out. Welt? Like my man in Honkai Star Rail? And he was chilling with Einstein and Tesla? The scientists and leadership of the North American branch were already very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. So this is where the American Revolution Some came even in, I'm doubted assuming. Otto's willingness to eradicate the Honkai. These differences eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti-Entropy in 1955. Okay, that's where that comes from. Unlike other... Sheiksal, oh, wait, 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 which wait, relied wait, on Valkyrie. Uh, hubba, hubba, who is this? Who was this lady? Yes, please. I don't know who she is. Chat, you better give me a name right now. She's the best one we've seen so far. All right, let's keep going. Entropy in 1955. Unlike Sheiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, Anti-Entropy designed okay. and built Honkai-powered mechs. So the mechs took the place the second of the Honkai Valkyries. eruption happened in 2000 and All destroyed right. Siberia and the Russian Far East. There's... It turned out that Shiksa were performing many right. inhumane experiments on Honkai-resistant children. No, I have to know. I have to know. I have to know. Does Honkai Impact make it where they were behind 9-11? If they're talking about 2000, they say right here. It turned out that she many inhuman. Wait, go back. And destroyed the eruption second Hawkeye in eruption. 2000 and destroyed a year before 9 11. It's not like these mechs weren't behind 9 11. You guys are saying LOL, no. Okay, okay. They're even worse. They're worse than 9 11? Bro, okay. I mean, the that Russian does look Far pretty East. bad. They're wiping out. It turned out that Sheiksa were performing many inhumane experiments on Honkai-resistant children. One of them, Siren, awakened and acquired Hersher powers and proceeded to take revenge against those who tested She's on her cool. and her friends. Sheiksa mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. But she many was Valkyries actually a good guy, battle, right? Because they experimented on her Sharia, friends. She was just a little reputedly kid. Reputedly the best Valkyrie Otto's of Shiksa. the sick one experimenting 14 on him. years later, in 2014, a minor okay, Honkai eruption, close. referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. 
The outbreak Nagazora. wiped out the entire city and transformed many into zombies. Okay. The cause was the partial awakening of May Raiden, the third Hersher, due to an implantation Hersher. of a Hersher gem. Okay. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The okay. few survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zaychek, were then enrolled Bronya. in St. Wait, wait, wait. High School. Are we gonna get Zila? Are we gonna get Zila then if we're getting Bronya? A Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. So this was all Honkai before Impact when I even starts saw. in the year 2016. You are the okay. captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Sheiksal Far East Branch. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, a okay. brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We also, hope this provides a basic understanding of the important events and forces of really the Honkai good. universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes, following the life of Kiana, May, Bronya, okay. and other- So they're the main three then. Bronya, May, and Kiana are like the primary three. They're like your Don Hung, March, and um, Trailblazer. They're like your Paimon Traveler. They're like your main ones. Okay, interesting. I I love Kiana. I think Kiana looks really, really cool. This version of Kiana looks great. But then, okay, so then that explains something then with the Hersher stuff before. The other celestial looking version, I'm going to keep watching. This is, it's interesting so far. I like the lore so far. Even having never played the game, I'm a fan of this. They're Valkyries in the Honkai. That's Kyvers. straight up Yaimiko, bro. I mean, that's not even a question. That's Yaimiko. Okay. Next one, great. All right, introducing the Hawkeye verse, fantastic. Azure, oh, bro, what did I say? I said zila has got to be in this. Branya and Zila's story, Azure Waters. Okay. Uh, Game Prodigy also donated and said, Welt from Star Rail is the same Welt from Impact 3rd. He came to the Star Rail universe to protect Star Rail's Himiko? What? So my man Welt that I play with regularly in Star Rail is the same little kid they were talking about, all grown up, and now with the gray hair and everything and the cane who's creating split black holes. That's the same, bro. Fire. Absolutely fire. That makes me appreciate Star Rail more. All right. Bronya and Zila, Azure Waters. Let's go. That's actually fire. <laughs> Now, Brony is one of the main characters, though, in Impact. The girl with the stigma. The silver... Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, they're making... They're making other references. They said the silver wolf. Obviously, we have a silver wolf in Star Rail as well. So then Star Rail is clearly going to have alternate versions of, like, everyone we've seen here then. Kokolia! Wait, what? That's. And that's Kokolia. That's straight up Kokolia. That's not even. I mean, that's clearly. So. Let me take her place. Wait. So Bronya and Zila are also like shipped together in this one then too, I'm assuming. Let me hold a hand, my dear host. Bronya, I will show you the sea. So she gets Thanos? Seems to be a lot of death in Honkai Impact Third. I'm used to Genshin never killing anybody. <laughs> you have like the girl in a uh, in Subaru who basically is like, oh, she fell asleep and died, and then nah, she's actually fine at the end of all of it. Star Rail is starting to kill people based on what I play. Like all the stuff in Pentacony so far, they've been killing people, but still, the lore is, is enjoyable. Though. So they straight up then are together. You have to kiss me back next time. The orphan Brody are lost many things in 2013. So this is all before 
This is before the game actually starts. It's when she loses Zila. Branya, Honkai Impact third. All right, so we're going right into her story then with this next one. Interesting. And she's still on an ice looking planet, which I'm assuming is meant to be Siberia. Because it's obviously our Earth, the way they've hyped this up. Got some Matrix animation going on there, okay. Is this at the max quality? I want to watch this at max quality. Oh yeah, 720 it is. Okay. She's cool. Reminds me a lot of the hallway sequence in the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. <laughs> the last dude just slumps over. So Bronya in this universe is a trained assassin slash child soldier. Interesting. <laughs> Again, the animation is very cool. And you guys are saying that this one's not canon anymore. It's still cool. Okay. Why did they make this one not canon? She basically just is super OP in this cinematic specifically. She's essentially Killua from Hunter x Hunter. So she's not like this in the actual game. I mean, that makes sense considering she's flying through the sky and knocking out people in one shot. Phasing through things. Whoa! Is that meant to be Zila? I'm assuming Zila is the next one. I see it over there. I knew you'd be here for me. Okay, so it is. We're going right into that. I've been waiting for you the whole time. Let's get into it. Okay. Next one. Cyber. Oh, no. This isn't it. Cyber Angel Zero Exception. So this isn't Zila. We're going to get to Zila later. Japanese dub version. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's going to have English subtitles, though, so we're good. Six minutes and 35 seconds. Okay. Now, Roger, reminder, this is canon. Okay, so this stuff is actually in the game. And representative of how the characters are. Oh, she's walking over memories? They do love their cubes. Okay. Love the animation effect coming off of the crystal. It's so... It's so genshin -y. it's kind of wild, honestly. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. She's turning into one of them? But this is after the scene we just watched, right? So she basically went to go save Zila, and then this happens? Oh, oh, Zila's gonna save her! They merge? Is this like a Steven Universe thing? Where you've got the two of them in one body creating like an Uroboros looking mech? See now, th now, hold on, wait a minute. So now I have to go back on something that I said earlier. I have to pause this. This is going to make some of you very happy with what I'm about to say. 
You know how I said that Himiko seemed like a ripoff of Pyra? Xenoblade 2 was 2017, Himiko was 2018. However, this right here, this Ouroboros looking merge thing, right? Very, very reminiscent of the Ouroboros from Xenoblade 3, which came out in 2022. So even if they stole from Xenoblade 2, looking like Xenoblade 3, might have stolen from Honkai Impact. I'm just saying. All right, let's continue. Interesting. Very interesting. I like her little wheel roller skates. They're weird. Your fun fact, Blank says the song is sung by Bronya's voice actor. Cool. This could be a Canadian voice actor. Okay. So, then chat, I need to ask you, and this is why I did this live as opposed to a video, because I knew I was going to have questions. The game, like the story of the game starts in 2016. But did the game release in 2016? Like, how long has there been an English version of this game? Oh, and you guys are correcting me. It was the Chinese voice actor, not the Canadian voice actor. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I saw CA and I assumed Canadian. No exception in this library? Okay, Sailor Moon transformation is fine. Very cool. By the way, Roger, Honkai Impact came out in 2016. The global release was 2018. English version's been since 2017, but only translation, no voice acting. So there's no English voice acting in Honkai currently at all. Am I correct in understanding that? I, I like that this, this is really cool that she's watching over. Her. I like this a lot. I get why the people like the two of them. I also understand why people are so hyped when I saw them in Star Rail to finally see Bronya and Zila. Um... Uh, Sheenak in the chat said, no, there is no English dub. Got it. Are there any plans to watch English dubs? And Neva says, watch the credits too. I got you. I'll watch the credits. Trigger my destiny. Yeah, so far, I mean, I think this was a smart decision to do it like this because, again, based on the, what I've seen of the gameplay, it's probably not my thing. But the lore and the characters, I am finding very interesting. Even just based on the little bit that I've seen of them, I enjoy it. And I do think that I enjoy it more now that I'm caught up to Star Rail and Genshin. Because now I'm seeing things 
that probably had I not played those games, I wouldn't have picked up on. Like Ecolia earlier, or Welt, or Bronny or Zila, even, honestly. Okay. And obviously, Branya's not dead. Branya's going to be summoning Zila for her powers, I'm assuming, in the actual game. When you guys are saying that's canon. And she's one of the main three. Interesting. More of Branya. Okay, this one's called... Oh, Zila. Oh. Oh, wait. So, time out. So, is this going to be... This is obviously predating what we just saw then. Or did she come back to life? D Gamer Calamity says the Mecha is part of her own powers. Um, that she just used for her motivational speech. Zila isn't the suit. This is the one that we're after. Here we go. This this is after. Zila was never the mech. Got it. They're inside Quanta, which is an element of Star Rail. You're going to get to that later. But this is later after she got saved. Got it. So she wasn't dead. She was basically just trapped there. Bronya got her powers by taking on the final boss. Okay. Thank you very much for clarifying, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Wait, wait, wait. But this is after... I'm sorry. This is after she looks younger here. She looks younger than she did in the other trailer. Company for a while. There'll be plenty of time for work later. Let's do this. Forgive me. Wait, 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 what? You just went through all that work for saving her and now you're doing this? Well, I guess this is saving her, right? She's gonna be taken over by some evil thing. The Bronius of the main character, so does it switch over to Zila? Later on? Oh, wait a minute. So the animation style looked like it changed on this incredible. Wow. What, 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 what? There's like an evil one? Ooh, ooh! Bleed not of her nails? So now there's like an evil scene? Dendro in her tears? Treasure chest? Whoa! Whoa! They don't have to go this hard with the music every single time. Oh! So she's using the other her as as like a scythe, like a death scythe. Let's go and rescue her. Also interesting, she uses the same weapon in Star Wars. It's like a scythe type thing. 
And her wings kind of look similar too. Okay. Bronya, Bronya, Bronya. We'll never be that one confused me even more though because now i'm like where the heck is the story gonna go by this next trailer like is the are the other her the other version of zila that's evil or whatever, is she going to somehow take over her and she's going to end up as a villain? Because again, it's been established Bronya is one of the main three. Just you wait, the story goes hard. But her arc concluded here. Okay. And Azrun donated and said, the funny thing about the story mode is that they give you fully built, essentially five star characters to use in all the stories past chapters. Past chapter four out of 30 or something like that. Hmm. Okay, Zila essentially has two personalities. The story is going to take you for a ride. Okay. I don't have to watch the credits for this one. This one's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Wow, we're already, we're flying through this pretty quick. I thought this was going to take longer than it is. All right, Honkai Impact, third chapter. EXCG is the next one. This one's only a minute long. So we're back... We're back at the city. Tiana's been running away from some of these guys. I I really am. I have to clarify again. I really am happy that I'm doing this today. Because it is giving me a deeper appreciation for Star Rail. Knowing that all this stuff came first. Oh, and this is when Himiko comes back to life? <laughs> Bro. What are you waiting for? Pyra is back for her knees, Kiana. So I'm assuming this is like some type of power up for her. Then. I will change this imperfect world into the one I want. But I'm assuming Himiko's not actually back to life, right? So she's dead. She's just inspiring her for a new power up. Okay. Meteoric Salvation. All right, so I'm assuming this is going to pick up where we just left off. With now Kiana having Kimiko powers. Another new outfit? Mirror's Edge Boys? Okay. A little bit of parkour. She's got the trailblazers, Beth! Wait, where did my baseball bat go? Wait, 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 Okay, I wonder if that has anything to do with the lore of Star Rail then. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's continue. Because there's obviously going to be connections and ties and stuff. 
It almost feels like Impact 3rd, because it was their first child, is kind of like Boyo versus Baby. Like, they're using all these things that were introduced in this for their future games. And you can enjoy the future games without having experience Hawk by Impact 3rd. But you get more out of it if you know it or play it. Like a deflection, okay. Let's go, Kiana. And now she's got now she's got cat powers. Meow meow. Neko charm. And she's got a Sharon gun. This girl's OP, man. was March 3rd, 2020. Wait, so this was like right around the time they launched Genshin Impact Games. Interesting. Man, I feel like I'm catching up to the lore pretty quick though. If it started in 2016, I'm already through four years of lore. Bro, they are not consistent with her boob size though, I'll tell you. Some of these scenes are totally normal. Some of these scenes, they're just like, boom. She got the buff from Himiko. For silicon, silicon, no me, man. I promise. Together we will shape this wretched world. I do love, though, as a fan of Himiko and Star Rail, that she's so integral to the lore of Honkai Impact. Man, the music, dude. Every single time the music is good. So there's Zila, okay. Crash above the barrier, above the clouds, is that what they're saying? <laughs> I like the little yeah at the ending. I kept my word. Dang. Yeah, this is very cool, man. I love the style of it. And again, the story seems really interesting. I might have to check out that YouTuber you guys told me about earlier and like watch some more of the story. What is reflected in the light? Two good songs in one? Ooh. By the way, Roger, what you saw earlier was Mai and not Zila. Oh, okay. The live performance of this song specifically is fire. Make sure to check it out. This is just the same song. It's a different verse. Okay. Is there a way to put on... Oh, no, there's no lyrics on screen. Oh, above the ground, not above the clouds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I would love to see the live performance of this. Maybe when we got time another day, we might check it out on the stream. Cool, man.
Also, I feel like the production quality has jumped now. We are now at a point that looks a little bit more modern. Like, it's not 720p anymore. You've got the end cards. You've got better animations. Be careful with your bat. Nah, I swing this thing around all the time during my Honkai streams. It's fine. I'm not going to break anything. I'm literally slamming this right against where my monitor is, and I'm totally fine. Uh, Game Prodigy said, Fun fact, by the way, the CEO of Hoyoverse, Dawei, his favorite character is Himiko. It's why she gets a lot of favoritism, and it's reflected with the fans as well. See, so obviously, again, Murata, if it's Himiko Murata, Murata in Genshin is going to be Himiko. Like, no doubt about it. I am fascinated to see what the Genshin version is going to be like. And I'm also looking at it now, wondering if there is some type of connection between Kiana, between the Celestia, Paimon, Mom, whatever thing at the beginning Why of Genshin, company for and the Trailblazer in Honkai later. Star Rail. It definitely seems like there's a connection between all of them. Which is pretty cool. I love it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of like the multiverse stuff with something like this. Because they're, I think they're earning it. I think the problem with a lot of multiverse related stories nowadays is like they use the multiverse as an excuse to bring back characters to life. And I hate that. That's something I hate about Marvel. That's a big thing I hate about the whole multiverse storyline going on in Marvel currently. I just hate it. Because then there's no stakes. Then a character dies... But they're like, oh, well, we can go to the multiverse and bring this version of Tony Stark back. It's like, bro, well, then why am I even watching this shit? It doesn't matter. But this, it's cool because it's like he's going to other, when like the Welt, from how I understand it, the Welt from Impact is going to Star Rail to make sure that version of Himiko stays safe. It's not that he's going to bring her back to the Star Rail universe. It's pretty cool, man. I like it. Also, we don't know yet, um, but we did see Dvalin, Venti's dragon, in Impact when we observed the other worlds. Dvalin is the name I was thinking of earlier. Dvalin is not the dragon we saw a couple animations ago. That's a different dragon. It's not meant to be the Dvalin of this world. Cool. Yeah, I love this, man. Very neat. Thoroughly enjoying this so far. And we're schmoovin'. We are making great time. Okay. Oh, this one says, spoiler alert. Honkai Impact, third chapter, 15 CG. Okay. And this was April 2020, so one month later. Again, I'm never going to play Impact, so I, I'm not worried about spoilers here. If anything, I might look up... This, so that's Cocolia then. All right. And who is this meant to be? And who is that? And what is that? Or is it maybe Kevin Caslana. Kevin, his name's Kevin. This dude is named Kevin. Otto, at least, is kind of like a cool bro. She be fine, bro. I love her. Thurindal. So far, Durindal might be my favorite girl. Oh yeah, she's my favorite girl, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Let's see more. Dawn of Glory, I'm assuming that's more a Durandal. 31 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, it's only 31 seconds. I want to see what that's all about. I see a cute waifu I want to know. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's let's pause for a second. Let's take a brief interlude to see this 31 second Dawn of Glory trailer before we get into the Lament of the Fallen. I want to see Durandal. Yes, please, yes. Valkyrie, Gloria, Durandal, yes. A ring. She's cool, man. So this is what the actual gameplay is like. She seems like she's really powerful. I love her outfit here, too, is great. I like it, Dawn of Glory. May the glorious rays of dawn forever guide you. Yo, she could guide me any day of the week, bro. All right, let's continue. Lament of the Fallen animated short. Six minutes, let's go. I'm ready. From Mihoyo Anime, Mihoyo, and Wondiria. Let's go. A 
Kira. You as fight as Rihanna? So, okay, so her evil version is taking over then. Oh no, that's, that's Mei. Right? That's not Zila, that's Mei. I'm not letting you go. So, they, okay. Let me clarify. This is Mei. Okay. So this is like basically Naruto versus Sasuke then. Because Mei is one of the three main characters. This is a Naruto versus Sasuke, Usopp versus Luffy type deal. No evil version. Got it. Mei joined the bad guys for story reasons. They're essentially Naruto and Sasuke. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> But May's name is Raiden, right? It's May Raiden or Raiden May? Got some hand to hand combat going on? I also think it's funny that it's on the roof. <laughs> yeah, Raiden is her last name. Good for you, though. Perfect. And we promise you she's not evil, she's just making a choice. Her father's name is Raiden Ryuma? That's also interesting too. It's interesting that the Naruto character is the one with the Sharingan. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Sasuke character doesn't have one. Lifting the bench straight off the ground? Okay. But she's got the Sasuke Chidori! <laughs> Electricity and everything, cool. Whoa, whoa! So Kiana's like awakened essentially then. And is threatening her life. It's a you're always like this. Kiana, you're always like this. When you're mad at me, force a smile. You save me and save me. Oh, she is Naruto. She's, alone. She's even popping pills, bro. Hey, this is my mission. She's right there. She moves a little bit. Mason. Oh, she should have moved it before she got up. That was a little bit. The world means nothing without you. Oh. I like their relationship, though, based on what little I've seen. Seems like an interesting one. Two friends sticking by their morals, sticking by their ideals, but coming to a crossroads where they have to fight each other. But they don't want to be in the world without each other. Ooh. Woo! 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 The music is almost giving me like Sawano vibes as well. Very Attack on Titan esque. This story arc was peak fiction. Okay. And that's where Kiata's story ends. No, obviously she's gonna help her. That's the key. Tears of the Kingdom ending right there. I reached out your hand. You changed my destiny from the moment we met. Wait. Did she try killing herself or something? Did May like jump off a building and then she fought her? You're the most important person in my life. The best way you use a sin, but I would gladly become a sinner. So she couldn't kill her. She needed to stand by her ideals. She's gonna stay on the side of the bad guys. But she that's what she thinks is right, but she couldn't kill Kiyana. Okay. To be fair, the bad guy side seems kind of cooler. That music was great, man. Wow. There's those classic cubes again. Wait, so quick question, quick question. 
You guys are saying May went through some shit because of Kakolia. My question is, when Kiana reached her hand out in that flashback, the fall up when when May fell off the building, did May jump off the building or was that an accident? Yes? What's the yes to? Yes, May tried to off herself. Got it. She jumped. Got it. That's what I wanted to know. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Man. It's a dark story, too. It's a CG ending at the start. Now, is, this, is the credits important to watch in this one? I mean, I'll just listen to the song. It's good. She felt so bad about what happened that she wanted to self -eat. She felt alone and bullied after what happened with Kapolia. Her father abandoned her when she was young, so when the incident happened in her hometown, she doesn't have anywhere to go. And she, and she tried to kill herself, and that's where Kiana went to help her. Got it. Wow, okay. But Bronia's still one of their friends too, right? She's one of the main three. Chapter trailer, reawakening. So this was the new chapter that was added in November of 2020. Wow, so a lot happened in 2020 in terms of Honkai Impact then. Okay, so this is Durandal again? Bro, her design is so sick! Considering like the Zila butterfly stuff before. <laughs> Speaking of which, okay. oh, it flies! Only missiles going after Bronya. You better watch out. not that's not zila we should keep watching then who is this cutie patootie martian dream fantasies who the heck is this that woman is a brand new character senti her hersher self best girl fu hua and senti yata this is actually fu hua fu hua's evil alter ego Y'all are throwing a hundred different names at me. Fuwa Senti Yata. Fuwa Senti is the full name. Got it. The Hersher of Sentience, a.k.a. Senti. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. They all have a bunch of different names, but I'm understanding now. All right, let's continue. 13 out of 25. Again, we are schmoving through this. Honkai third anniversary. Shattered Samsara. Okay. Getting some Sumeru vibes. Honkai Lucky Trip. Worldly turmoils no longer perturb me. Cherished friendships all have withered. I stood fast for millennia to safeguard the masses. Who will prevail? February 26, 2021. Shattered Samsara. Six minute long animation. Cool. This was actually the CG that happened right after Genshin was released. This one? <laughs> So it's now at this point they're juggling the two games. This is obviously pre-Star Whale. 
So this is sent. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Wait, let me pause real quick. I, just, I have a quick question. Just to, so I'm understanding this correctly. That's a cool shot to freeze frame it on. Just so I'm understanding this correctly, the alter ego, Senti, who is the alter ego of Fu Wa, Senti is a Hersher, and there's other characters that when they become Hersher, their alter egos become their own people. So Fu Wa still exists, but also Senti exists, and the Hershers are kind of their own thing running around. Yes and no. Basically, Senti is Fu Hua's body and Fu Hua's consciousness inside the feather. But technically, she was a new Hersher. She's basically a bit of a special case. Senti took over Fu Hua's corpse, but you essentially got it. And there will be a character like this in Star Rail eventually. Kiana's Hersher side took over Kiana's body in the first animation. The one we saw where she was decimating the planet. That was her Hersher side coming out. She was in her Hersher side early, and then she went Hersher, obviously, in the fight with May as well on the rooftop. May and Bronya right now can control their Hersher forms. So Bronya's Hersher form is like the Zila looking thing, and May's Hersher form is what we saw in the fight against Kiana. I'm understanding now. Thank you very much. See, again. This is why it was so important for me to do this live so I could actually fully understand the lore. Because if I just did this willy-nilly and I didn't know anything about it and I tried watching, I wouldn't know what the hell's going on. I appreciate it. Let us continue now. So we've got Fu Hua's Hersher form Senti fighting Kiana in her base form right now. Got it. And Bronya was the only, only one who never really struggled against her Hersher form. She was able to control it. Cool. Okay, clown out. I love this. Why? They all like their drills too, it seems. All losers. Yo, that's me when I'm yelling at One Piece fans when they disagree with my opinion of a chapter. They're all losers. Harness your power. Is that Himako talking to her? Recollect what I taught you. Okay. Wow, so she really is important. Man, oh man. Hone it in. Come on. Origin, origin of the Impetus behind creation. Oh, that's cool. And now she has like... Interesting. The fire inside herself is coming out. Eminence inspired by Himiko. Neat. Oh, that's not Himiko. That's Fu Hua talking? Oh. So now we basically have Fu Hua against her other self. Okay. Hersher to me. So Fu Hua's original form. It's trying to dissolve the illusion. And she'll go away too, but Kiana will be free now. Goodbye for the last time. Okay. Ooh, oh, so I could have waited. Then. So <laughs> I would have found it was Fu Wa and not Himiko. My last mission. Bro! No pun intended, that was fire. Excellent music once again. And one little feather remains. 
Is that going to dissolve too, or is that going to be a power boost for her? Trading sacrifices for so called victories. It's unacceptable. Give Fuwa back to me. Does she have the power to do that? I don't think so. Bro. Every one of these songs is so good. Phoenix. I thought they just one shot at Kiyana through the head. Whoa! I don't Hang in there, Kiyana. Gumbara! So because she's like a phoenix, she can come back if she's safe? Wow, dude, this song is so good! Essentially, Full Walk is effectively immortal. The world is ever changing, and I've grown accustomed to the despair. I've lost touch with time. And I struggle in the samsara. Wow! Wow, in the loop of the samsara! And now. Yo, and now that makes sense! The Samsara stuff with Sumeru and being trapped in the loop. Interesting! I'm seeing the parallels! Makes me appreciate Sumeru a bit more. Also, you guys are saying the singer is a guy? This is a dude? An extremely talented dude! I'm talking like Kurt from Glee, bro. Everything changed here and now. That's amazing. How do you have a voice like that? He's actually a famous Chinese singer. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Noah also says me and someone else in the chat are from Hoyo stands. We can help if you want to explain the lore of Honkai Universe after, especially because there's a lot of misinfo from the community because of localization. From Hoyo stands. What is Hoyo stands? Is Hoyo stands like a like a lore community of the Hoyoverse games? The next one is Peak. You are going to love this. And even the background voice in the other thing was incredible. The next one is my favorite. We're a giant lore community. Oh, that's awesome. Pretty much the de facto lore guide. Oh, that's good to know then. Thank you for watching, by the way, too, and then helping me out in the chat. The problem is when we're obviously doing this live, you can't leave like giant, giant, giant things explaining stuff. But by all means, when the VOD of this is up, please like leave comments, reach out to me, let me know. Because I, I am very interested in more of this lore. It's cool. Again, I think the animations are beautiful and the music is beautiful and the characters are really great. It's not necessarily convincing me that I absolutely have to play the game. But I also think that's kind of the beauty of it because I don't feel like I really need to. I feel like I'm getting most of it from talking through the chat or maybe if I like dive deep into the lore of it and I could like fully understand it. But also I feel like so long as I have a base understanding, it's going to help me better understand what could potentially happen in the Hoyoverse games that I do play and do actually love like Star Rail and Genshin Impact. All right, let's continue. You guys are saying this is the best animation. Everlasting Flames, the animated short. Japanese dubbed edition. Okay. Let's see this. This is an eight minute long one. I'm very excited. Especially coming off of that other one, too. Give up. Oh. Ooh. 
So they're all tied up. So Fuwa essentially took the place of May when May left then, I'm assuming. It's one of the big three. Oh, these creep oh, I hate them. These creepy puppets. She literally put her fingers in the thing's mouth, twisted, slammed it down on the ground. That's horrifying. Man. Can't change the ugly world. Them jiggle physics were working overtime right there. See? You can't even protect them. Whoa! Oh my god! There's no way they kill both of them in a cutscene like this. Not after we just got the other explanation that Fu was essentially immortal. And Bronya's been through the ringer. She was like a child soldier or something. Humans are failures. I agree. But I won't surrender. You're the last. Hang in there, Kiana. Come on. There you go. Thoughts to Himiko. They never gave up. Exactly. So now it's my turn. My turn to tell them they made the right choice. Let's go. I love her Hersher form, man. Her Hersher form is so cool. Hey, it's my turn! Let's go! Having an All Might moment? You're next, young Midoriya! Wow, man. Wow! Jeez, these cutscenes and animations really are incredible. Choreography is really, really cool. Who's coming to save the day? Bronya? Vaka! <laughs> She's an idiot who doesn't quit. Let's go! Nice. Take them on together. You know, I finally realized, too, what this is giving me vibes of. It's very Xeno Saga esque as well. I haven't played all the Zeno Saga games. I only played, I think, two and three. Uh, and I don't even think I ever beat three. I think two was the only one I fully went through. But it's reminding me a lot of Zeno Saga. Which is a good thing, by the way. Predecessor to Zeno Blade and everything. Wow, man. Wow, wow, and, oh, wow, and she rises like the phoenix she is. Wow, man. We're not stopping here. Punching infinity gauntlets going after her. As hope. I mean, this rivals some of the anime that I watch regularly. And you guys said that last gem was Imako's? May all the beauty be blessed. Wow! Sure, they all sunshine and rainbows, but there are people who talk and never give up. They guided me. They showed me all the beautiful things in this world. I love the dice. And I love what they love. Connected by the sword. Dude, yeah, that's Imiko's sword! It'll burn up the darkness to make way for the light. See, wait, I gotta get the Aegis now. Hold on. 
Here we go! Keep it close to Risen! Bring it back home! Wow, man! Oh, she's right there beside her! May all the beauty be blessed! Going Super Saiyan? Holy heck, man! Everlasting Flames, wow! That was awesome too. I saw when I got up to grab the Aegis, all the other characters showed up as well. That was awesome, man. I can totally imagine, like, if you're playing Honkai Impact, and you've been through this, what, this was like the four year anniversary it said? 2021, so yeah, around four year, five year, whatever. If you were playing for that long and you get to this point in the story, that's gotta feel peak. I guess, even as someone who just was introduced to these characters an hour and a half ago, I'm already feeling stuff as I'm watching it. It helps that the music is so good, too. Trust, Natlan is 100% gonna be like this. I guess, too, Natlan is like the, the realm of war or whatever, right? So it probably will be. Wow, man. I'm gonna let the credits roll, the music is fantastic. The story up to this point, by the way, is about 200 hours. See, yeah, I can never get into this then. I can't. I, I, I simply don't have the time to do it. To every captain supporter of the game, thanks for joining the journey. May the fires of hope always guide us. It always comes down to Himiko, man. May the fires of hope always guide us. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Wow, man. Honkai Impact 3rd. D Gamer Calamity said, I cannot wait for the day Kiana shows up in Star Rail. It's really going to be something special. By the way, please read my other super chat. I didn't even see you sent a super chat. I'm very sorry. Let me scroll back up. What was your other super chat? The chat's moving pretty quick, so unfortunately a lot of these super chats are, are getting lost. Um, the super chat said, A certain grandpa in Star Rail is also a Hersher at some point. A grandpa in Star Whale? What, like Welt? Well, Welt's not really a grandpa. I'm trying to think, a grandpa in Star Rail that we've met already? A grandpa? Oh, oh, Welt. You're just talking about Welt. Welt is literally grandpa. He's 80 plus years old by that point and was the Hersher before Bronya. So he's a grandpa in spirit. I was going to say he doesn't look like a grandpa. He looks great for 80 years old. I mean, Welt's like a handsome looking dude. He's got the little bit of the gray hair. He's got the, the swoop. He's got the glasses. He's just like me for real, bro. But then again, they make the joke on Japan time all the time that since I'm a 33 year old content creator, that's essentially being 80 in the realm of YouTube. So I understand. Why not keep me company for a while? Man, oh man, oh man. Oh, now I'm seeing it. Yeah, the day Kiana shows up. All right, so now you're... Your thing came back up again. All right, let's continue. We are now 15, so we only have 10 more to go now, and some of these look pretty short, so... All right, let's go. New arc trailer. Pre-revelation. Let's see this. So this is the new arc after you've pretty much already experienced Peak, and all the characters came back for an infinity moment. Oh, is this Otto? From earlier? I was wondering when we were going to see him. Usual. I don't, wow, look how good I am that I recognize that immediately. I resigned as Kisal Overseer. And there's Durandal, who's still peak girl. Man after my own heart, drinking some wine on Meta Knight's battleship from Kirby Superstar. Love to see it. Who's this? There's he. Is. 
That is cool to see everyone coming together. The two of them working together with their Earl Burrows. I also like her design like that, too. I was used to the Phoenix form, but I think her base design is kind of cool, man. I like it. Oh, wait, Shushan? From Star Rail? Long time no see, Master Phoenix. Is that Shushan? Bro! And Raiden's coming back, Raiden May? Seems like it would be a pretty hype story arc if all of them are involved. Interesting. <laughs> it's time to fulfill our pact. Interesting, that looks a little bit like the Primo Gem wish from Genshin. Interesting. Quick question. Quick question again, just to ask, so I'm still caught up and so I still understand what's going on. By this point in the story, this arc is what number arc of the story by this point? Because this was 2021, 2022 or whatever, and it started in 2016. Like, where is this in the story? Here's why I'm asking. Having Otto show up, after everything we just saw in the Everlasting Flames one, almost makes it seem like this is the post Shneznaya area of Honkai. Like, you know how the post Shneznaya stuff, like the Ancient Kingdom or whatever, that's going to be after we get to that? And that's what, like Act 5 or whatever? Otto has actually already been around from the start. It's only that he's been taking action now. He's not necessarily final villain. The start of the second half of part one and the ever flame is the end of the first half of part one. Oh, so chapter 26 and 28 out of 35 chapter 36 and 42 was part 1.5. Oh, so it's almost like the time skip then is really what it is. Instead of thinking of it like the chapters like Genshin, I should really think of it like pre time skip post time skip. Essentially, he was the main villain of the first half of part one. Conria should essentially be 29 and 31. And in Honkai terms, Celestia should be 32, 35. Got it. Okay. Dane's, Dane's Leaf is essentially our auto, which is what I kind of picked up on a little bit. I didn't want to say anything earlier, but I, that is also kind of what this seems like to me, is that Dane is essentially auto. Where Dane is this looming figure through over the course of the story, but hasn't really taken action yet. But now this new arc trailer, this is essentially him taking action. This is essentially like when we get to the Dane stuff going into Conria and Genshin. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you again for the clarification. And Azrun said all of Honkai Impact's third story up to this one is one consistent story. It's not really you're breaking up into regions like the other games. I think the story is basically the best of the three. Um, but I would also argue from Shiroi and Joshua say I would also argue that Kevin is really the one that's more like Dane. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So Otto's not really the... I'll keep watching. Let's see. Otto's been leading everything good and bad, basically. His hands are in every pie. Kevin is essentially Dane. Dottore is essentially Otto. Oh, I guess that would make sense, right? The head of the Fatui, if this organization and this one that Otto's been running, the, the equivalent would be the head of the Fatui, right? That Kevin is essentially Dane. Okay. I'm understanding now. Putting things together. Man, it really does help that I have the vocabulary of Genshin and Star Rail now, though, to understand half of this stuff. Got it, got it, got it. Dottore is the one with the parallels to Otto. Makes way more sense to me. Fantastic. All right, let's continue. Animated short, Thus Spoke Apocalypse. Nine minutes. Wow. Okay. And this was only two years ago. This is February of 2022. So we are, again, we're flying through this pretty quick. When you really want to change the world, you realize how pitiable your own strength is. 
聖女は民に全てを捧げたしかし手にしたのは冷たい手数と工場だった世界は混沌としているそれは不公平で This realm they're in also very much reminds me of the Abyss in Genshin. Is this meant to be like the parallel version of the Abyss? Oh, and here's the zombies that we're talking about. Here. Yeah, and the imaginary tree is essentially the world tree. Oh, it's all the same. Oh, they share the same. Oh! Yo! The world will be sundered by its villain! Okay, Otto! She's gonna get hung, this holy maid? Whoa. He seems sick, though. Can you play as Otto in the actual game? Like, did they add him after all this? He seems awesome! Also, no, you cannot play as him. No, 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 no. It's just waifus? You walk around with him, but you can't play as him. It's only in the story for a minute. Wow! This deck is free on one sword. It's a Jin Wu level player right there. Woo! What? Oh, that was sick. I was sliding around on the blood. Cool wielding these swords going right through them. That's right, rip the rope, there you go! Roger, that's Kalen, Kiana's ancestor, and Otto's one true love. Oh. Oh, so Otto. So Otto's old. Like, very old. I guess that makes sense because he did explain that he's been around a long time prior in that lore video we watched in the other day. He just doesn't age then? Otto is 500. And he's been sipping for someone who doesn't even love him? Oh, she's a lesbian. She doesn't love him? She likes a girl? Otto, what are you doing then, bro? Oh. Oh. loves Yaimiko. So he simped for 500 years and she didn't even love him. She loved this game's version of the eyes? This man, though, he's got the magic cube that's going all out. The world allows a mind to find the magic vessels that allow a vessel to gather the pieces of the mind. The one who's going to save her. So she did love him at some point. But then he did everything and then she stopped loving him and fell in love with Yai instead. 
But that would mean she's bi, that would mean she's a lesbian. This is he said, I gave everything up and I'm still giving this to you, even if you don't love me. Oh, what the heck? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, so if that is the ancestor of Kiana, is that essentially him making it so she never dies or something? He's like changing time? I'm still a little fuzzy on this one. There's all the kids, obviously. The kid versions of the people that we knew. Karen. <laughs> Live. Tatakai! Sasageo, devote your hearts, man. Live on. This is the most selfish thing that one can do. So, at this point in the story, then, Otto is now dead. Right? So, Otto's gone now. He wanted to give her another chance at life. All right, okay. Wow, so this must have been like a huge moment in the community, too, then. If the overarching villain of the entire first half dies. He created a new universe. So this is a new universe? Oh! So see, that was the thing I was fuzzy about. I didn't... I thought he was fixing something in the past. He died for love and created a new branch in which Kalen survives. But actually, in a weird way, changed the timeline. Unintentionally kills Callan. Oh, oh, oh! Now is that meant? Wait a minute. Hold on. Now, the other guy with the long hair is that meant to be Lucha or Laucha? They're just showing everything that he did. Oh no, it's just Otto with long hair. Oh, it's all the same. Oh! They're all him. He is that guy throughout all time. Losha is a form of Otto. Oh! Oh! Interesting. And this is the timeline in which they're together. Okay. The music was fire in that, by the way. It was very, very good. Wow. All right. Hold on. Reburn 2. Oh, Reburn 2. Okay. Bringing back a classic. Concept animated short. The world from which Honkai has disappeared. A journey towards the heavens. The first test flight is about to begin. Okay, so this is in the new universe now. So, what we saw at the end was not the new universe. It was them as kids in the past. Got it. And this is essentially our teaser for Star Rail? Okay. So, wait, 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 wait. So, Honkai Star Rail is the new universe that Otto creates. And this is the concept of that new universe? No, no, no. We never visit the new universe. It's one universe, not multiverse. Each game, Genshin, Honkai, Impact, whatever, Star Rail, they're all in one universe. They've confirmed this on official posts. Honkai Star Rail is in actuality the future of Honkai Impact 3rd. Well, no, some people are saying it's a different universe, though. And other people are saying they're unrelated. He changed a fixed point so branches of Kalen could exist. Nothing changes in Honkai Impact, and Star Rail's a different universe. 
Okay. What Glyphic said is true. They are also from Hoyo stands. Got it. Otto just created a slight split to save Kellen. It's not the Star Rail universe. It's a different world in the same universe, but in the future. And Star Rail is another leaf on the imaginary tree, which means it's a different universe. So the imaginary tree is where all the Hoyoverse games branch from. And one branch is Genshin, and one branch is Honkai Impact, and one branch is Honkai Star Rail. Okay. Star Rail is a different universe. The PV is a non-canon PV to tease the next game. Got it. Imagine the tree with a leaf. Genshin, Honkai, Star Rail are all leaves on the different tree. So really, just imagine that Hoyo Lab, right? That Hoyo, MiHoyo, is the tree. Like, actual MiHoyo is the imaginary tree. And all the games moving forward that branch off of them are different leaves off of the imaginary tree. It's paths, essentially. Basically, yeah, Hoyo Lab is the tree. You're finally getting it. All right. It's okay to think of it as a parallel universe, though it is a little different, and there is a way to travel between them. Which is, I'm assuming, what Welt did to go see... Blank in the name. Himiko. Got it. A lot of stuff being thrown at me. This is also very fascinating, though. And I do think, again, it's really cool to look at it and watch these animations with the understanding of how these might eventually affect Genshin and Star Rail. Which are the two games that I play. Very cool. Roger, you're finally understanding. I mean, again, I'm also going into this, to be fair, wanting to understand. I think there's certain times where people might be watching these trailers or reacting to them or something and like they just want to see the animation and they don't really care about it. I actually do genuinely care about how they all connect because of how much I love Genshin. And to be fair, how much I'm learning to love Star Rail. Star Rail was a little iffy there with the, the stuff in the second area. But I am actually really liking Star Rail and I'm loving where Penacony is going. So if it continues in that direction, I'm all for it. But what I also find interesting is that even though Impact is a branch of the tree, it does seem like because it is their original baby, the other stuff sort of is getting referenced from this. My man, you're literally talking in six years worth of world building right now, and you're understanding it within an hour and 50 minutes. That is what I like to hear. Wow. D Gamer also said there is a content creator named Homu Lab as well that'll explain Welt's backstory and how he ended up in Star Rail. Star Rail's Lufu was essentially Genshin Sumeru. There's good stuff, but overall, it's a slog. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's watch this concept teaser then. This is 18 out of 25. So we're nearing the end now. Okay. Let's see this. So again, this is a different branch. She reminds me a little of March. Doesn't she? The way her, her outfit looks like? Yeah. Carol, Carol's her name, and she does remind me of March, for sure. Keep in mind, Roger, this one is not actually canon, it's just the concept and fun to think about. It's not really canon. Got it. That's fine. I mean, but this clearly is the concept. Even if it's not canon, it's the concept for Star Rail. If you've got a rail service, a train, and a character that looks like March. This is obviously what inspired them for Star Rail. Like, you've got the, the Express right here. The OG concept version of the Astral Express. I'm humming to myself, but... Da, 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 da. Oh no, it is quite literally the same train. That is definitely the Astral Express. There's Welt. Oh, interesting. So the original version of Himiko in this universe was not Himiko. Interesting. Yeah, blast off. All right, so this is it. Oh, how fun. I like this. I, li I like that I'm watching this now having, having Star Rail.
四番ホームグラビティコントロールを開始いたしますえっ<笑> yeah, like、Are we gonna see concept pom pom? Yeah, she's even got the little tongue thing going Bro, there he is. I mean, that's like one to one, dude. That is Welt. Man, I can go for Boba right now. It's 8 30 p.m. All the Boba places are getting, getting close to closing, and it's late, and I still gotta eat dinner. Reagan made shrimp scampi tonight. I can't wait. Vent oh, that looked like venti for a second. Uh, oh. oh, Trailblazer! Essentially meant to be a god. Interesting. Oh no, that was meant to be March. That wasn't the Trailblazer, that was Proto March. Carol's a different character. Okay. That was the old March. All right. So this girl. Wait, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't want to skip one. Hold on. Let's go back real quick. So this is a different character we've never seen. This girl was Proto March right here. March 6th. Old March actually had the same eyes as present March though. My take is essentially they wanted Carol to be the main MC, but they went with the Trailblazer instead. I'm kind of glad they did to be honest because Carol looks a little too much like March. Homo Labs collaborated with Hoyo Stands and made a cosmology explanation series. It's not complete, but it's accurate and explains the cosmology、um, and how it works, as well as dispelling misinformation with localization. Definitely check it out later. Cool. Man, how cool is that that Homo Labs and, and Hoyo Stands and all these different people are all reaching out to try to create like one big piece of lore that everyone can follow? That's impressive stuff, man. And I, I appreciate that Hoyoverse. You know, they, they, they reach out to these people to try to make it one big cohesive thing because they know how much the lore means to people. I love that, man. All right. Now let's jump into 19 because of you. Japanese dub short, third animated short, and this was for a special login event. For S rank Alicia the Miss Pink Elf. Okay. A story without any significance? Now we're back in impact, right? We're back in impact. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love her. I, I love her. Even with the bangs, I love her. I like her musical motif, I like her design. By the Hersher, I say you look a little special. And she's an archer girl? Please don't be mad. Did she tank the CD? Or did someone attack her for it? Oh, oh, wait, well, she's glitching out. She's a robot or something? She's a robot? The l e s i a n realm is just your life. Cute. I, I love this. I'm a minute, 40 minutes in. I love this. You guys are saying it's a simulation. It's not a robot. This is technically in the Matrix. I don't care what it is. I like her. I like the aesthetic. This is my type of cyberpunk. Fantastic. I love her. She is so fine, too. Dendral, who? Forget about it. Stand by the second of 
This is not the end. I love a little code in the corner too. By the way, Roger, uh, you don't want to compress this arc in your head. You simply won't be able to. Uh, but keep in mind, this is the story that the Penacony writer wrote. So I'm assuming there was a lot of death in this one then. Farewell, Elysia. Okay. So then... If this is a simulation, is this kind of like what inspired the simulated universe in Star Rail? Dear Eden. Eden Ellie. I also love, lo oh my gosh, who is this? Bro. CC Princess Girl? I love all of this. I love that the aesthetic is like a 90s anime, that they use the film grain on it. They got the retro video games, bro. This feels like something I would have seen when I was a kid. And good music. Yeah, this is definitely my vibe. This is also wild because this feels so drastically different from everything else we've seen already. Characters are all totally different. Oh man! Lotus Flower Princess, my love! Sung an ode to civilization with their lives. I'm going full screen for that. Let's go back. It's over. It's over for me. It's over. There's no one better. There will not be anyone better in any of the other Honkai trailers for Honkai Impact 3rd. There will not be another that's better than this. There is not, there is, Elysia is her name, Pink Jesus. Bro, she's the best. Pink Jesus, I want to crucify and chill any day of the week, bro. Holy guacamole. What did they do with her? I don't know what they were thinking. Absolute fire. I love her design. I love the aesthetic of her world. I love everything about this. You have to see her in combat. She has one of the most fun kits. Make sure to check out her gameplay trailer after this. She literally died for the sins of the rest of the Honkai characters. Bro, she's fire. I don't care. She's finna dead. Guess what? That means all the more reason I never have to play the game then. If the game killed this character, that's a game I don't want to play. Straight up. I'll, I'll enjoy the lore. I want to know more about it. If she's dead, I'm dead too, bro. That's how it is. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I found my waifu. I found the best one. We got Lisa in Genshin. We got Yelan in Genshin. We got Himiko in Star Rail. We got Black Swan in Star Rail. All right? There's no one else. Dorindal, whatever. I don't care about her. OG Himiko, whatever. Forgot who you are already. Elysian, Elysia, Pink Jesus, whatever you want to call her. She's the best. I will not hear otherwise. If you have a different opinion from me, you're wrong. It is what it is. You're wrong. I love you, and I respect you, and I respect your opinion, but you're factually incorrect. There is no girl better. I don't even know her story. I don't need to know her story. I don't know the lore. I don't care. I don't care. She's the best. Let's continue. She's the best. I'm sorry. 
She might be dead. I don't care. It's fine. Again, all the more reason to never play the game. Let's continue. Amazing. Absolutely my type of anime waifu. For sure. She's got the least of Even the way she's like... So, they show. Destroy in the Triforce, the cores of the space station in Xenoblade, burning everything up, saving everybody. Incredible. 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 Because of you, I'm never gonna play Honkai Impact. Because of you, they killed your character, and now you're dead in the game. Because of you, I'm gonna stick to Genshin and Star Rail and hope that you show up in one of those games. That's what I'm saying. If they don't put her in Genshin, or they don't put her in Star Rail, I'm dropping both of those games. The next time there's a Hoyo creator meetup, I'm gonna go to all the people that I know at Hoyo and be like, when, when the hell are we gonna get Elysia in those games? That's what I need to know. Now, I can't think, I can't, I can't think of anything else now. That's what I wanna see in those games. Show me Elysia, please and thank you. Until then, You've ruined me now. I've watched this and now you've ru- Stop. Okay. Okay. Who's this? I mean, Elysia is dead. So, there's no harm in what I'm presuming is Black Swan's parallel. <laughs> I mean, she is dead. You know. Hmm. Hoyo knows how to make their waifus, I'll tell you right now. She's cute too, what the heck? What are they doing? They leveled up in like the five years after the development of the first part of Honkai. They were like, we're going crazy with these character designs. See, I, I will tell you right now. You know what it is? I like the fact that they look like women. I like that they are women. I hate... More than anything else, these tropes of making them look too young. Elysia, Vil, whatever, they are women. Stop it with these young characters trying to... I hate it. When they do the fan service with the young characters, I hate it so much. Stop doing that shit. Make them like women. And me, the 30-year-olds with discretionary income, will pull in your game. But if you make more of these stupid teenager characters, I'm not going to spend money on your game. It's not going to happen. Make grown-ass women, and I will spend money in your games. Do you understand me? You screwed up by making Lisa free. I said that in my first ever Genshin Impact video. You also messed up by putting Himiko on the standard banner that I could pull for free in Star Rail. Now, I got lucky on my last Star Rail stream, and I managed to pull 
Black Swan. I got lucky on my early Genshin streams when I pulled Yaelon. I'm good. But you gotta do more of this. Please. Please. More grown women, please. Please. I beg of you, Hoyo. To be fair, I, I do think... I, I will say this. To be fair. I feel like Genshin never really truly had that issue. I think there like there's a couple weird characters or whatever, but for the most part, I feel like Genshin's pretty good about it. And I feel like Star Rail kicked off the gate good about it. But I feel like the beginning of this in the back of my head, when I was watching the first like 30 minutes of the trailers, I was like, there's an odd bit of fan service. Like when I was mentioning the stuff with like, who was that? It was May who was flipping around or whatever, and they were doing like the it was too much. It was too they looked too young and it was I didn't like it. But this, I'm about all this. Elysia and fortune teller girl or whatever. Great. More of that, please. Yeah, phenomenal. Phenomenal. She's the best. I. She's the best. She's the best, bro. For the 13 flame chasers, Elysian realm wraps up. I need to see her. I need to see her kit right now. Before we get to the next trailer, I have to see her kit. I don't know if it's on here. Doesn't look like it. Part one finale. Oh, God. Wow. We are like... Schmoovin, we don't have much left. Okay, this has 5 million views. Bro, hold on. Okay. All right. Let's continue. You ever played this game online? This chapter is actually in the game online. Yes. Cool. All right. That's great. That's great. Uh, what were we looking up now? Her trailer. Her gameplay trailer, right? A lot of typos. My brain ain't working too good right now. Uh, this? Is this it? Because of you, we just watched. Arrow of Nove? Is this the one? New concept. Wait, what? Okay, this. All right. So this is version six. Watch the whole thing. I'm I'm seated. I'm planted. I'm good. You have to tell me twice. Come on now. She knew well that one should take all things with them when they pass on. Wait, 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 wait. She knew well that one should take all things with them when they pass on to save others from mourning. But what she left behind was too much ubiquitous and perpetual. Even her music is amazing. Oh, she was the first Harsher Pro! So she's. Oh! She was the first one? The Harsher of Humanity, bro! Oh, her gameplay looks fire! What starts with me, ends with me. That's what I like to hear. 
<laughs> she said, I'm the one true waifu. She forget about all the other ones. Even though, again, fortune teller girl's cute too. Oh, is that meant to be Pella? So these are a bunch of other characters that I don't know. She's kind of cute. The girl on the left. New bridge theme, Timeless Grand Hall. The Arrow of Nova, Or Arrow of Nova? I don't know if the E's silent. All right, anyway. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. All right, let's go back. Oh, wait a minute, there's something else. Oh no, it's just Kevin. Whatever, I don't care about you, Kevin. All right, let's go back. Bada bang, bada boom. Preview of Impact Third Part One Finale. All right, now we're closing in. We only have one more that's over five minutes, so we're we're moving towards the end now. Okay. Sorry for the detour, but Elysia had to be focused on. We had to spend time on her. Okay, had to be done. Had to be done. Going for like a realistic look for this one. Interesting, realistic looking CG. Is that meant to be Bronya? She's back after all this time, okay. On some colony on the moon. That one straight up does look like the Aegis. Doesn't she look like a grown up Pella? That's wild, they have a story arc finale on the moon though. That's really cool. This almost feels like this would have been before Elysia. Whoa, what the heck? Where'd she get that? This is awesome. So they're all together again now, finally. Teaming up against Kevin. Oh, May, yo! May, Bronya, the whole original squad, they're back. And they got dragons. He just flipped it around its neck. Yo! Part one finale, the moon's origin and finality. That seems hype. That seems very, very hype. Wow. Oh, man, I'm kind of sad we're getting close to the end now. I'll just, I guess I'll let him autoplay. All right, reunion. This has been so much fun. Thank you again, everybody who tuned in today. So this is the Kaslana's secret place. Reminds me a little bit of the um, Mount Vilek in, uh, in the original Xenoblade. Where they have the fight against Metal Blade. She also reminds me a lot of Mythic. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'll, I'll wait until the trailer's over. I have a quick question. Bro, she is mythical. I do still really like her, too. She's number two. She's number two. She is. She's number two. But Elysia's got to be number one still.
I wonder once we eventually get to the traveler's sibling in the future. そうだ。今日お前の誕生日だったな。今まで祝ってやれず。本当に父親失格だ。What <笑> If they're doing this with impact, I'm wondering if maybe there's going to be like a, a connection there or something. Kiana is it? Wait, 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 hold on. So this is the question that I had. First off, Fordrin is saying, okay, Roger, listen to this. Durandal is actually Kiana. Otto kidnapped her and erased her memories. While Kiana is the clone of Durandal that's used to control the Hersher. Oh, so Durandal is really our, our MC then. Durandal's the OG Kiana, and the Kiana that you guys were playing as throughout the course of Honkai was actually the clone body that was used to house the Hersher power. Oh, so when I said I liked Durandal so much earlier, and I mentioned how much I liked that character, you know, B.E., before Elysia, when I said Durandal was my number one waifu, I was actually thirsting for the MC. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, good to know. Durandal is essentially older Kiana. You can call them Goose Kiana and Tuna Kiana. What does that mean? What is, what is that in reference to? Goose and Tuna? Is that like a nickname within the community or something? Also, Roger, Durandal's name is Bianca. Uh, someone joked that it was Blonde B Kiana, and they were eventually right. <laughs> Weird. Durandal is Blanca in reverse in Kiana B. It's a meme nickname. Tuna and Goose. In Honkai, there's a sword that's literally a tuna. Oh. And the one who erased her memories, the original Kiana's memory was, was Otto. But Otto's been dead. Otto's been dead for years, apparently. If he died in 2022 or 2021 or whatever, and now we're actually getting up to modern day, like now what? This is a trailer for 11 months ago. This was March night, my birthday. Literally, this was my birthday. 2023 is when this trailer dropped. So we only have four more. Okay. So now we're into like modern day. So really, if this is the part one finale, we are now just entering part two of the actual story of Honkai Impact, meaning this game is going to go on for like probably another eight, nine years. Jeez, man. I mean, Hoyo is never going to run out of content. If they're making this, they're making Star Rail, they're making Genshin, all these games have whole second parts. Because I'm assuming after seeing this, I'm assuming after Conria is going to be, Conria will essentially be the end of part one of Genshin Impact. Once you get through all the Archons and then you do the Conria arc, that'll essentially be the end of part one and that Genshin 2.0 will be a whole nother thing with whole new characters. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Interesting. All right, let's continue. So this is Clone Kiana. But you're... Wait, one more thing to clarify. You're still playing as Clone Kiana as the main character though, right? Because she obviously has the ties to Himiko and Himiko is so important to the lore. And obviously this is the character we've been following for such a long time. So she is still the MC. Got it. Also, remember way back when during the um, story trailer for Genshin that we showed you in that very first reaction video you did when you first started Genshin, it is called the Tevat chapter, meaning that Tevat is but one chapter within all of Genshin Impact. Bro, I got content for days. I love it. I love that they do this. I love that they're continuing on the story of the games. I love it. 
Clone Kiana is also often called K423. Okay, let's continue. Transcend. Kiana Very pretty. See, this looks more like what I'm used to with Genshin stuff and with Star Rail stuff. Like, I think those early trailers for uh, for Impact looked a little, uh, not sketchy, sketchy is the wrong word, but they, they clearly didn't have the same budget that they do now. Oh, the three of them together? The destination to the new one is right ahead. So they're entering part two. And everyone's behind them. Elysia. Well, there she is again. Off you go to part two of the story. Interesting. She's got a tiara now. <laughs> Leaving one world behind and going to another. But the two of them are still by her side. That's very nice. I like that that May and Bronya are still there. The question I have is that this is then no, this is no longer Earth, right? This isn't Earth. Like they're now past that. Also, what the heck? When a story is about to end, we'll always the beginning. Oh, so this is okay. So technically, they haven't actually gone to part two yet. This is still the end of part one. Oh, graduation trip. Duh. Okay, of course, because they're graduating to the next game. I got it. 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 This is the actual one. The graduation trip. Okay. Long story short, Kiana became the moon god candidate, beat Kevin, became a moon goddess, and then the graduation trip is her Earth farewell. This one is this one might make you cry. We're gonna have an alien version of Alicia as the main character of part two, I think. That's what you're thinking? Let's continue. So this is really the end of the storyline. This is the end for May, this is the end for Kiana, this is the end for Bronya, and everybody. The Aeon of Finality with Kiana becoming the emanator of finality. There's also a part 1.5 that came after part 1 where Zila's the MC. It's a couple of chapters before 2, but this indeed is the end of part 1. Got it. Dang! Way back when with him in the wine? She's thinking back to everything that- Oh, wow, Otto! This Worth cherishing, isn't it? And the puppets from earlier? Unlike us, she still has to forge ahead. All the people she killed before? Aren't we missing someone? Oh, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, our story has ended. I love, too, that they've got this, the evil simulation eye thing on the, on the train with Otto and with the puppet. Let the people from the past stay in the past. Sayonara? Sayonara. Already, I can see that, like, if I had played through the game over the course of six years, 
I'd be sobbing already at this point. <laughs> Seeing these characters you spent so much time with. 200 years of... Oh, my God. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, they're back on the roof where they had their fight. Oh, this, oh man, I can imagine. I can only imagine how the Hardcore Impact fans felt. It is, it's wild experiencing this in such a short amount of time. Man. I gotta part ways again. No. We're staying together till the end this time. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's choking me up a bit. And an overgrown earth? A little bunny rabbit so, in the middle of Tokyo? We have That's straight up Shushan. A story about love that will end with love. Oh, what the heck? Got a beach episode they gotta throw in there? Bronya. Yai. Hanging out at the mall, what the heck? They're playing the graduation music as they're moving on. They're literally playing the graduation theme. What the heck, man? I love to the little sign on the door said, stay safe. Moving into the next world. simulation or whatever, the evil eye looked like that. Dang, man, dropping into the new world, hopping off the battle bus. Wow. This song is incredible. That little her? Saying, get up, everything's gonna be okay? So that's her looking for her dad in the past? And that's her, oh man! Struggling with the little backpack and stuff. Oh man. 
Bro, if they manage to pull this off and make me choke up, for characters, I, I haven't even played their game. I just met them two hours ago. I don't even want to know what I'm going to be like at the end of Genshin. Then. If this is how, they, how they're wrapping things up with their first game... Bro, Genshin's ending is going to have me a sobbing mess if that's the case, if they manage to pull that off. Dedicated to every captain who supported the game. To the team, current and past members, and the production team. Thank you for joining our journey. This was the story we created together. As in the past, and as in the future. Wow. Wow. May the beauty of the world always shine. Dude, Hoyo's got it, man. They really do. They really do. Like, before I get to the last couple ones, if I may... If, if, if you'll allow me to just chat for a moment before we do the final few. You know, when I first heard about Genshin Impact, like years and years and years ago, I was like, oh, okay, this is like a Breath of the Wild ripoff or whatever. And like, I didn't know, really know anything about it. I wasn't familiar with Honkai Impact. It looked cool, but like, I didn't think anything of it. When I played Genshin for the first time, like two years ago, I immediately knew like, oh, there is something special here. It's such a good mix of story and characters, and in particular, something that really means a lot to me and can make or break a game for me is music. I think, like, there are very few developers and companies that I feel like manage to do things the way that Nintendo does things, or Square, or Capcom, or some of these, like, companies that I absolutely love their games and I know that time in and time out or like Kojima even like Kojima's not really with company I would have said Konami but he's not with them anymore Koji Pro whatever like there's a few core game developers that no matter what I look forward to their stuff because I know no matter what even if it's bad there's gonna be aspects of it that I like Hoyo has become, in this last two years for me, that type of developer. Which I honestly, I'm going to be real, like, I almost said in my old age, right? But like, at 33, again, I feel like an old man on YouTube compared to everybody else. But like, I grew up with Nintendo, right? And so I had that time to spend with that company and to spend with those characters, to fall in love with those characters. And then like, I really got into Metal Gear and all that kind of stuff in college. And so, like, Kojima's games really connected with me. And now even moving into the future with, like, Death Stranding and things like that, I still absolutely connect with the vibe of Kojima's games. The love for the music, the love for the story, the love for the characters. The lack of needing to, to be gratuitously violent or needing to be super bloody or whatever. Like, you don't need that to make a good story, to have the good music. Like... And even, like I said, I'm, I'm there with Square as well with the Final Fantasy games. There are a few companies that manage to make, no pun intended, an impact on me. And I never thought that, you know, entering my 30s, I would find a company that would resonate with me in the same way that these developers and these, and these other companies and franchises resonated with me that I grew up with. You know what I mean? Like, Nintendo for me is, like, timeless. I will always love Nintendo. Koji Pro games, so long as Kojima keeps making games, even if they're weird, I'm going to still be invested. I still want to watch them. I still want to play them. You know? Final Fantasy, th same thing. They keep making Final Fantasies. I'm going to keep playing Final Fantasies. And now I'm like that with the Hoyoverse. In which, like, if they keep making games, I'm going to keep playing them. I'm going to keep covering them. I know I'm going to have a good time when I check him out, man. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right. Let's watch these last few. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And again, when I started, you know, the, the reason I, everyone knows this. It's not like I'm hiding this. The reason I started playing Genshin was because I did a sponsored video for Genshin. Like, that's literally why I started playing the game. That's the main reason. And the other reason was because Reagan was the voice of an NPC in, it was one of the Yaimiko story missions. It was like one of the interlude, uh, fun, like little event things where Reagan, my girlfriend, voiced one of the NPC characters who's actually funny enough, her name was Murata. In the, or the NPC's name was Murata, which obviously has, it wasn't the same character. It wasn't meant to be Himiko Murata, but still, it's just funny how all that kind of stuff connects. 
And that's how I got into Genshin. Like, and then I got into Star Rail. I was like, they're making an RPG. I love turn-based RPGs. I'll probably enjoy it. I got into that. And now, like, again, I'm so glad that I spent the evening experiencing the story of Impact. Because now I, I understand somewhat the impact that this game had on other people. And I am very much looking forward. I'm almost like tearing up even thinking about it. I am. I am. I'm like actually tearing up. I, I'm actively looking forward to then be at the point now that I've caught up with Genshin and caught up with Star Rail that I can experience at the end of those stories what people felt at the end of this. It's awesome, man. Really awesome stuff. All right. Okay, enough. We're getting into the end. We're getting into the end. We got two more left. We got two more left. Part 1.5 concept. Let's see this. This is going to be like you with One Piece in 50 years. Well, to be fair, this is going to be me with One Piece in like three years. Because One Piece is ending in 2027. It is what it is. I mean, like, people can say whatever. We're in the final saga of One Piece now. And, like, I'm not quite at this point yet with One Piece because we still have quite a bit to go. And even though, like, we're in the final saga, where there's a lot left, right? And, like, where we are right now it's sort of set up within the final saga to get to the end. But like, yeah, once we get to the end, like 2027, 2028, One Piece, bro, I'm going to be choking up and crying every single live stream. But I, the thing is, again, I'm going off on a tangent, but I do think it's kind of important to like understand who I am and like why I like the things that I like and why I get so passionate about certain things is like, I greatly enjoy the journey. Greatly. I love starting something from the beginning, spending so much time with it, and then getting to the ending. But I also love getting to the end, which I think is something that a lot of people don't necessarily feel the same way that I do. I think some people really get sad thinking about the end of One Piece or sad thinking about the end of like a storyline that they've been invested in for so long. Sad is not the right way for me to describe how I feel about that kind of stuff. These tears, when thinking about the finality of certain things that I love, they're not like sad tears. They're tears of like joy of having experienced that story. They're tears of fulfillment. They're tears of like having experienced something and then that thing is now over, but then you're moving to the next thing. They're tears of hope and excitement and hype. Bittersweet isn't even really the right way to describe it. Exactly. Everything's got an end. And I think some people get scared looking towards the ends of the things that they like. But I don't. I like the journey. I get hype for the end. And I move on to the next thing because that's how life is, you know. I leave satisfied. Exactly. Don't be sad that it ended. Be glad that it happened. Exactly. Man, I did. I really, I, again, I'm sorry I'm going on a tangent. I did not expect these trailers for this game that I have not played and have no interest in playing to affect me in this way. But man, wow. Incredible. So this is the interim. This is 1.5. So this is what you guys were saying. You play a Zila? All right, let's see. Hailing from Nagazora and falling into abyss. I mean, it looks cool. It's also like they got a totally different art style now. It's like the same game, but it looks very different. Now, is this interlude taking place in the world that she left behind? Oh, there's the moon. Okay. I mean, it looks so Astral Chain-esque, I can't get over it. So this was just the concept though, right? She lives on the moon. This is after Kiana's graduation. It's half Earth at half the edge of the solar system. Oh. So this is, hold on. Time out. So this is the most recent 
trailer. Six months ago, this is it. This is where they've left off in terms of cutscenes and animations. You and me, Honkai Impact 3rd cutscene. You found me, Zila. Oh. Is it going to be the end of the Bronya story? Like their final moments together? Well, I just realized, too, her hair merged. Like the evil version of her and the normal version. Way back then? This I might need to explain for me. So yo Ano Kubio de Sukoka Nakimushi de not much stronger than me. Song's incredible. Huh. Essentially, the whole first half of 1.6 was solving the two Zila in one body situation. Ah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So resolving that plot, I understand. Cry it out, everything's gonna be okay. You found me, Zila. That is so Xenoblade. That's also very Genshin, where you see the trailer, the Traveler and Lumine, uh, Lumine or Lumine or whatever her name is. Wait a minute, by the way, Roger, did I get a six-month Nakama badge? Am I a certified OG yet? Welcome, yes. If you had a, a membership, then yes, you are indeed. By the way, you missed my super chat. Wait, let me double check. What is this? Let's see. Uh, Joshua Martin said, please watch the PV trailers next. Please, I beg of you. Like I said, if people enjoy the video and they want me to do it, then I'll definitely do it. The thing is, the PV the trailers, the PV trailers, I'm assuming are more like character demos, like how the characters play. I certainly have less interest in that um, than I do in all of this. This was like actually telling the story and I find very interesting, but um, maybe we'll see. If you guys want me to do it, like I said, best way to show me you want me to do it, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you leave a comment below letting me know how much you love this. Like I said, I'm I'm probably never going to play it outside of maybe I'll do like one or two streams of like testing playing it for the first time. But I'm probably never like fully going to play through all of Honkai Impact. I just won't. It's 200 hours. I don't have the time to do it. I'm already fully invested in two other games. I get motion sick playing action games. People know the drill. But um, I thoroughly, I, I'm so glad that I sat down and did this and tried to understand the lore of the game. And I really appreciate my chat walking me through it. I think that was awesome. And we met Elysia, who's best girl. Um, by the way, Roger, there is one other trailer. If you look up part two, first look, it's got a trailer at the beginning of it. Okay, I will I will check that out. That's all we'll end. Part two, first look. But yeah, definitely if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed. Part two, first look. Four months ago. All right. And you said the first part of this is a trailer. So right here. <laughs> Oh 
Okay. Commander Helia. So these are the brand new characters. Will all your characters from part one carry over? Carry on one. Yes, they will. Oh, nice. That's nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Because that would suck if none of the characters carried over. Whoa! She looks like Ethel from Xenoblade 2. I mean, Xenoblade 3. I like her. Oh, yeah, she's cute. She's cute too, Sand Dancer Girl, all right. So this is the beginning of a whole new storyline. Oh, ooh, uh, uh. Oh, Shushong is back, okay. But now she's like an integral part of the story? And she's got glasses now? Popping some bubble gum like the Zenless Zone Zero characters. Oh, I like her too. She's cute. They got little dragon dogs, little fluffy dragon dogs. That's kind of cool. Solo leveling monsters. So I'm assuming these are teases of all the things to come. The new art style is also very different. So are they on Mars then? If the first part was Earth, this next part's gonna be Mars? Part two unveiling. Okay. So I'm not gonna watch all of the, oh, here we go, wait a minute. 2023. Oh, Mars, it is literally Mars, I was right. New content, Mars. Wow! That's a smart way to go about the story then. And they got their little colonies and everything, the new characters. I'm not gonna get into all the gameplay stuff because obviously, again, I, I don't play the game, so it's not gonna be as interesting to me. But that is cool knowing that the second half of the story is gonna be Mars, that's neat. Or I guess the second part, right? If they wanna continue this going, they could just go through all the planets. <laughs> Honkai Impact, the, the uh, 3.5th. <laughs> There's gonna be Welt Lore coming up as well. Um, by the way, APHO Trailer. Please do this before you leave, APHO Trailer. This one, open world, a post Honkai Odyssey. New chapter above the stars. This is from two years ago, so I feel like this is a little outdated. Oh, it's the future timeline. Oh, oh, so this was actually the tease for what we just watched. Wow, so they knew back in 2021, kind of what the rough estimate for the timeline after the first half was gonna be. This is actually technically before Honkai Star Rail. Oh. Project Bunny. Whoa. Girl with the face mask. A post Honkai Odyssey 2. Opfo launching early 2022. Whoa. It's basically Bronya and May in team leader positions. And by the way, if you liked the story, you can definitely watch the Chronicles, but you should also check out Asheron's animation. And that was meant to be adult Bronya. Oh, adult.
adult Bronya and adult Mai. Wait, what? Oh! Oh! That's adult Bronya! Oh! Wait a minute, okay! That's adult Bronya, okay! Oh, that is cool! Cool, man. Post Honkai Odyssey. All right, here's the thing. We've been going for three hours now. Today was a very busy morning. We did lots of videos. We did lots of streams. I gotta end it here. We gotta call the day. Thank you once again to everybody who tuned into the stream today. I greatly appreciate it. All the viewers, all the people who are donating, all the people who are going wild with the lore. Please, if there's other stuff you want me to watch, let me know down in the comments below. But again, more than anything else, if you want me to continue watching Honkai stuff, make sure you share this video, you like the video, you comment underneath, you share the love, you bring it up whenever we're doing Genshin or Honkai Star Rail stuff, you're like, hey, I really love this other video. You, you share the video everywhere. Greatly appreciate it once again, all of you coming through. I am so unbelievably happy that we sat down and did this today. This was so much fun. I'm going to rest up my voice. Tomorrow I'm actually doing, I'm not doing any streams or videos tomorrow. I have a break. But of course, I will be up covering the Partner Direct, Nintendo Direct, bright and early at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So until Wednesday morning, this is the last time any of you guys are going to see me, until 6 a.m. this upcoming Wednesday. Thank you once again for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.